Well, I, I was in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And from there, I moved to Tampa, Florida. Uh, in Halifax, I was with a small arts college, one of the best in North America. Uh, but it was a small arts college with a very focused uh, program array. I was attracted, though, to the USF because of the broader program array, including architecture, theater, dance, music, uh, with a couple of art galleries and such. I found that interesting. It's always challenging and it's always interesting. I'm, I, I'm thrilled to see students progress through their programs. They grow so much during the time that we have them, and, and uh, it's just so gratifying. And I'm confident that they will go out and find great positions and, and excel as artists in their chosen fields. Well, when I was really young, I wanted to be shortstop for the Chicago Cubs. But that did not pan out, obviously. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, I started thinking seriously about studies and, and I wanted to go into some field of, of science, uh, but ultimately my parents said I had to become a doctor. So I started out in a pre-med track. Well, I, I, if, had I stayed in that track, I, I, I was working in, in a, 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 a biology lab as, a, as a, uh, an EM technician, electron microscope technician, and I found that interesting. And uh, that's how I ended up making the, the shift over to art. I found that uh, the images that I photographed were so abstract and interesting that I started drawing them all over the white tablecloths of the restaurant that my parents had in Chicago. And uh, somewhere in there I said, I think I want to do this instead of going into medicine. Well, I'm, I'm a bit of a foodie, so you, you would likely encounter me at, at one of the many restaurants that are in, in Tampa. I, I'm especially fond of, of a bunch of restaurants in, in Seminole Heights. And then there's some on Kennedy that are kind of interesting as well. Uh, also on weekends I go to um, the, uh, the farmer's markets, in, in both in Hyde Park and Seminole Heights. Well, of course it's USF. My favorite place is here. I mean, I, I'm surrounded by art. Uh, the college produces some 300 pieces every year between musicals and, 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 and opera and uh, classical uh, concerts and recitals. Uh, architecture school has charrettes all the time. It's, it's, and then we have gallery shows. So uh, there's so many things that keeps me busy. At, at one time I did have two cats. Uh, one was Jesse and Ru the other was Rudy. But I found through time that, that my work keeps me so busy and between here and the, the travel that I have to take uh, as part of my work, uh, it, it's just not tenable. Well, there are many places. It sort of depends upon my mood. I mean, I'll run over to, to the Marshall Center and, and uh, there's a whole food court, uh, array, uh, you know, from pizza to, to Chinese food and, and uh, sandwiches and such. So it's, it's comfortable for me. And then uh, the, there's another place over there that has hamburgers. Uh, so it, it's easy I, and it's very convenient for me because my, my schedule is so intense, so busy that it, for me it's just run over and run back oftentimes. I grew up in Chicago, north side, and uh, I am, yes, Chinese. People always ask, what are you? <laughs> and then I, I have to go through this big rigor moral explaining. But uh, I'm Chinese American, uh, born and raised in Chicago. Uh, Cantonese speaker. My parents did not speak English and my mother who now is in her 80s still does not speak English. So I, All my studies were at University of Illinois. My bachelor's and master's degrees are both from University of Illinois in Chicago and the PhD is from the University of Illinois in Urbana. Also I took, uh, I mean I had other little side things, I, I took half of an MFA degree at CalArts and then uh, I had a, a University of Chicago, some work at uh, sort of a postdoc thing there. Oh wow, that's a difficult one to speak to. There's so much, we have such great variety here on the USF campus. We are, after all, a, 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 an all Steinway institution. We have some 90 odd Steinway pianos here. Uh, so of course, piano is, is keen. Uh, but beyond that, we, we have classical to opera, we have jazz. Uh, I have some personal favorites. I very much enjoy Chicago blues. My daughter plays violin. 
uh, and lately, uh, last year I took her to, to, uh, to the fun concert at Taste of Chicago, and, and lately she's been talking about uh, Ting Tings. I walk everywhere, yes, and, and I do like that, but uh, I, I wouldn't call it a formal exercise. Some people have these little gizmos that count the number of steps they take. I, 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 I don't understand that. To be willing to take on challenge. Uh, that, that's sort of my the piece that I push, is that they, they take on those challenges because it's through challenging, through, through pressing the, the edges, the margins of, of the work that they do, uh, of the sector that they work in, that they'll actually make contributions to the future of the arts. That's what I, I, I'm all about in my work, and I think that's, that's what I encourage in our students. We have our own graduation ceremony, which I really love. Hundreds of students come forward, they walk across. Uh, it's not the one that's over in the, in the big sports arena, it's just a, an intimate thing for, for families, friends, and, and for our kids, and I think that's, it is, it, it is so, it's such a beautiful event for me to see them complete and go forward.